Alcorn came up with the sound, and, and Alcorn really improved the game a thousand percent. He made it fun. And so they, they, they took Pong, they set it up in Andicap's Tavern. Uh, today it's no longer called Andicap's Tavern, it's now called Rooster Teeth Feathers. I would come in and, and collect the money from it every, every week or so, every few days. Uh, one time the machine stopped working, which didn't surprise me because it was very fragile. And I came in to, uh, to fix it and I opened up the coin box. To, what I would do was give a free play to keep the customers busy playing while I fixed it. and uh, opened up the coin box, and the coin box was filled with quarters, absolutely filled with quarters. And I put, I put them in my pockets, and uh, I said, gee, if that ever happens, uh, again, you give me a call, I can fix that. And, you know, Al's comment to the, to the manager, to the barkeep, was, you can call me for, to fix this problem any time. But the barkeep said the most important thing, and this is, this is the key, this is the real key. He said, it's the strangest thing, I've never seen this before. This morning I came to open the bar and there were people waiting outside and they didn't order drinks. They came to play that game. I told Nolan what had happened. Nolan said, very interesting, very interesting. In terms of expectation of how successful Pong was going to be, uh, I think we were all quite surprised at, at how successful it was going to be. We knew we liked it. We knew we would like to stay um, after work and, and play. But uh, to sell as many units as it did, it was, was surprising. I guess there were obviously some earlier games like Space Wars and Odyssey and things like that, but most people really hadn't uh, that if, you know, seen those. So really Pong was, I think, the first game to reach the mass consciousness. It really uh, stunned players at the time, I think. And that really started it off, but a very simple game, um, but showing some of the potential of this new medium of video games. I was in a bowling alley and I saw a Pong game. I saw this game and I said, oh my God, you can make a game on a television set. Who would have ever thought of that? It was just thinking of it. Once you see it, now it's easy to do. A lot of people can do it, but the person who does it the first time is pretty incredible. And that was Atari.